Welcome back, Stoner Squad, and thank you for joining me today to continue our Antigonids in Exile campaign. Well, I say in Exile, we're no longer really that much in Exile, because we are pushing back towards our homeland here. We've taken a big chunk of Anatolia in the previous war, and um, yeah, it's going all pretty well, to be honest, considering where we were at some point, where we were really threatened by Macedon, now it's uh, Macedon who's threatened by us. Uh, but yeah, we've taken a lot of land here with this Cybelene, so I do need to change all the religion here. So off camera, I've built a few grand temples in the biggest cities of the area, and I'm going to need to build a load of them. Uh, grand temples, grand theatres, all over this section, because uh, loyalty is going to be an issue in this newly acquired area. So we do need to do that. Um, and I don't know really what we are going to do today. Maybe, I think, take out the southern part of Greece, I think, with just our legion. I think I can do that. Um, I do have a peace treaty with these guys, but I think it finishes pretty soon. Um, when 547, yeah, 8th of December. So I can take them back out, because last time I did the war, but I kind of accidentally pieced out with the wrong thing, and I missed it. Uh, so we're going to do that again, um, and I think we'll just kind of mop that little bit up. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I want is an invention, and I'm going to go for a civic invention, and I want to go for the capital import route and the pop happiness plus 1%. Thank you very much. That is quite nice. Now I want to go to do all the import routes here. How many... Wow, I need more buildings in here desperately. I, I need more pop capacity, which I will do, and um, I would like to also bang on at some point maybe a province investment for the pop capacity, which would be nice. Um, it does stack with your aqueducts, by the way, which is quite useful. Uh, but anyway, let's go for the trade. I want to get some wine, if possible. I can, because it reduces the Legion maintenance cost, so I get from Carthage, which is always quite nice. So we get a surplus of that in the capital. Oh, I already have. Crap. My bad. Uh, let's get a surplus of cloth, because I don't have a surplus of cloth. I don't have that. Or oh, tech investment goes down. Uh, Food-wise, I have more than enough. Can I get papyrus? No, what about some olive? <coughs> National slave happiness, yes please. That is going to help with pop happiness or like with unrest. Because of course slaves, um, the happiness doesn't condition their output, but what happiness does do, uh, well, it doesn't condition their output side, but slaves do still like emit unrest if they're not that happy. So if we can get extra happiness with them, it minimizes the unrest gain in provinces and therefore the loyalty reduction. So that's the thinking behind that. I need a new governor over in Phrygia, and I'm going to place someone from a scorned family, just because we need to give him a position. Um, do I have anybody? Not really. Um, so I might as well place anyone, really. Um, you're really loyal, but you're very corrupt there. What about you? You're pretty good. You'll do just fine. Well, I know what. What is, a lot of this is Cybelene, so if I have a Cybelene dude, I will place a Cybelene character. It does help with pop happiness, I have to say. Do I have a Cybelene character? I don't think so, because I don't think I brought anybody in. No, I don't, that's a shame. I'd have liked to have had a Cybelene character, but it is what it is. I'm going to place you, actually no, you're, I don't want, I want someone with no corruption. What about you? No, you're corrupt. You've got state religion happiness, and you're not corrupt. You'll do just nicely. Thank you. So you'll do fine. Um, we should get an event that would fire to get rid of the scorn family, which would be useful. Um, I have a potential rebellion in 17 months over here, but I've got this raised in order to deal with it. Uh, by the way, this reminds me, I need to disband all levies. So I'll disband them all, and then I'll re-raise this one afterwards when I can. I will gain a little bit of military experience because of the fighting. I've got a mission, but I don't want to do Dominate Epirus just yet. I have a few guys that are imprisoned that I can ransom, but I am not doing that at all. That's hurting my that's hurting my stability by 0.05. That's a pain. That's a real big pain. But I can't afford to get them back just yet. Um, you, this is my legion who's got no commander left anymore. Um, these mercs I do need to disband. And by the way, mercs don't cost any um, gold now to disband, which is really cool, I have to say. Um, so you guys are going to actually stay over here, I think, the Stratos of Pella. Actually, no, I'm going to bring them back home. We'll bring you back home. I'll bring you back home with my main legion, and I don't want to declare war on um, what was Sparta, which would be quite nice. Uh, this little province we know. Um, I need a new commander of my legion here. Who am I going to place? Um, I can't place anyone because I've got to go and assign a... What about you? Oh, I can't because I'm in fine land, so I can't assign anybody. So I need to get back home. As soon as we get back home, I can assign him. Um, anyway, fall of the third family. So our third family's gone and fallen. Uh, you're coming back home now, which is nice. The Morian Civil War ends. Again, that doesn't really concern me too much. And uh, now what I need is another trade route here. Can I get Papyrus? I can, and I'm definitely going to get that. I get it from myself, but I don't care. I just want the bonus for the civic tech investment. 
to allow me to go through the tech tree a little bit quicker. I have quite a lot of... Uh, what? I'm at 125% research efficiency. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, I have quite a few Macedonian pots over here, actually. Already, which is quite nice. I do need to turn the, change the religion, though. So what I might do... Oh, you're perfect health. So what I will do for the moment here is... I'm going to bang on some religious conversion in this area. Now, I am going to be losing a little bit of... Um, kind of pop happiness, if you wish. But I just want to make sure we turn a little bit of this into Hellenic as I can. Hopefully it will go pretty quickly over time. Um, let's have a look. What is our rate? No conversion going at the moment. Uh, hopefully the Grand Temples will help sort things out. Uh, low food over here I know. By the way, do I have forts that I can get rid of? I think there's a lot of forts I can get rid of here. I completely forgot to get rid of them. So this one I will get rid of. This is just going to cost us gold. This one, I might actually keep. What is this one here? Is this in the city? Yeah, now I'm going to get rid of that. Level 2 fort as well. I don't need it. But I will get it on the border here. I'll get one there, actually. That's a pretty good location. Uh, what about next? That one I'll keep. Here I've got way too many fort levels. Um, so I'll get rid of one here. I don't need this one anymore now. Yeah, I don't need that one anymore. So that's going to go... Um, here I have enough. What the hell is this? Fortress. What's a fortress? What the hell is a fortress? What's what's the difference? Oh, is that like depending on the level? If I had like level three fort, it would change the icon to fortress. That's interesting. I have no idea how that works. Um, what about over here? Yeah, you need to get rid. Um, Pergamon or this place. Um, in Pergamon, I'll get rid of the fort level. It's just all too too much. And it's costing us in gold. And I don't really need all them forts, to be honest. Um, so now that's done. I might actually get one over here, to be honest. Probably one in this place would be nice. Yeah, let's get one there. That's cool. We'll get one there, and then that's all reorganized, because then it's just... We should be making a lot more gold now. I am actually making 25 gold per month. That's a lot. 30 gold. Wow. That's a lot of cash. I like that. I'm very tempted to increase the size of my legion as well at some point. Can I sign a new commander now? No, I can't. Palace of Macedonia. Oh, here. That's why I need to put a commander on. Oh, you're really good. Oh, you're really, really good. You're, like, really, really good. Um, I'm going to assign another Legate as well, and you're really good as well. Um, yep, I like that. And then I'm going to assign... You're younger, so this Tribune. Yeah, you're younger, you can command it. That's cool, we'll have that. I like that. So you're going to go all the way down here, we'll ferry you back home, and hopefully get the war going against Sparta pretty quickly. I'm also hoping that... We can... Assimilate, well, we can kind of convert this pretty quickly now luckily we're making a lot of gold which means i'm going to be able to build the grand temples and grand theaters at a very quick rate in here and then it should really get everything under control i'm not overly worried to be honest about it i'm really not that worried do i have any other trade routes available wow fucking have loads man okay uh, yeah i need to get all this done wow this is gonna like really help us with the gold flow so we'll get some spices here why not also get a set of uh, furs why not maybe i really don't care i'm gonna import from anybody Anything and anybody down here, to be honest. Um, maybe some, maybe pop happiness would be the best, would be the best thing. I think. Yeah, let's get some pop happiness. Unless I need food. Um, here I'll get some grain. I think. You can never have enough grain, so I'll get a bit of grain down there. Yeah, do I have enough food in this place? Yeah, I need, I need food here. We'll get a surplus of grain. Yeah, might as well. We'll check with Egypt. Egypt like us. Egypt are our buddies, so we'll get that. What about here? Do I need food here? No, I don't. But what I do need is pop happiness. I'm going to have a lot of Freemans, so we'll get some wine. Who doesn't like wine? Everybody likes wine. Um, can I get another trade group? I can, so I will get something other than wine. Maybe some base metals. For some local Freeman happiness. It should help us with province loyalty. Um, what do I have here? I have a lot of Freeman. So I reckon we're going to import wine as well. There we go, local Freeman happiness. Which works. 
here I have some Freeman as well. We'll get wine. Anything really for Freeman happiness. Just the, over the overall kind of majority of our pops are Freeman, so we might as well do that. Um, here, we'll get some Freeman as well. We'll get some like, wine as well. Of course, this is all going to increase the happiness of our province. What about you? Do you need to have food? You have more than enough food. Freeman represent 40 sort of percent, yeah. So let's go for... Let's go for dates here. Why not? I've not really had many dates, so I'll go for some of that. Then I've got all the way down here now. Here food, we have more than enough. Um, let's go expensive stuff here. We'll go precious metals. So this is the capital region, so it's never going to be disloyal. So basically here, getting the most valuable goods is the kind of best way forward. Take all that. And here we'll take... Some marble. I'm taking from you. Now, I could assign auto trade, but I'm just kind of a little bit OCD. I do like... Um, I do like kind of um, doing the trade with myself, to be honest. I, it just makes me feel kind of more secure, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's like I know what I'm importing and I know what I'm doing. So, it just makes me feel a lot more secure. It's just me. It's just one of the old habits, really. It's, a whole, it's an old habit that's quite hard to, like, get rid of. And here I'm going to go for some import for some base metals as well. We'll get some stuff for the Freeman happiness to increase promise loyalty. And then we've got one more down here. Again, I'm going to go for... Go for some base metals, I think, down here. Okay, so all that is done. Now I should be making even more cash now. Let's have a look how much I'm making. I was making 30. Now I should be making, well, 36. Okay, that's an extra 6 gold per month, which is quite a significant amount. What about you? We peaced out? You finished yet? No, the Thracian Revolt's on their side. Where's the Thracian Revolt? They're at war with the Seleucids. Looks like Egypt's at war with the Seleucids again. Aha! And Egypt's getting absolutely pounced on here. This is good. Or are they? What did they do? They finished the war. What did they take? Did the Seleucids take something? I think they did. That's good. That's going to kind of counteract Egypt and stop them being total dicks. So well, that's cool. I like it. Anyway, a lot of gold is being made. Do I need road over this side? Not yet. I think our road network is finished over here. It is. Aha. Glorious road network for the nation. Anyway, let's get back to building our stuff in our cities here. We're going to need them all over the place. Especially in the major centers where it's full of cybernine pops. Now, luckily, we make 40 gold per month. So within... God... Like, five or six months, we can get one. A, the a grand temple in five or six months, which is, like, basically peanuts. Um, right, let's get you guys. I'll disembark you in here. Let's hurry up with these fellas. Are you not coming down here, dude? I'll send you guys back, and then we'll bring them back again afterwards. I'll bring you back to Argos here. Um, do I have claims on you? Actually, I need more claims on people, don't I? I mean, I need a lot more claims. Um, what do I have a claim on? I really don't know. I've got a claim on all this. I don't have a claim on this up here, though. Do I have a claim on this section? I don't have a claim on these guys, do I? Oh, I do. I can take Missia Inferioris, and that wouldn't really cost me too much, so I don't really need to make a claim on that. Now, what I will do is I'll make a claim over here, though. This I don't have. Um, and it's got a pretty big city in here as well, which means it will cost a lot in war score. So that's well worth taking. Uh, court red handed. So holding in front of the court, Sossi Stratos Therid is a sorry sight. Caught with a convenient batting ram in hand, he's said to be ready to strike down a Kalaios Gallipid, the governor of Silesia. Um, yeah, I can lose a loyalty with the guy. He's got a lot, so I might actually imprison him. Yeah, Dungeon will straighten you out. I'll imprison him. And then I'll put this guy, who's even better. So there we go. Bomb salt. Right, I've got a civil war firing down here, potentially, I know. But again, that is really not much of a problem. Um, I can up the game speed, I think, now. Yeah, we'll up the game speed. Why not? Why not, why not, why not? But I make a shed load of gold. Um, can I... Actually, you know what? Let's increase the legion size. So what I'm going to want now is... How many mail can I get? I can get eight extra units. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And eight. Yeah, I like that. Let's go for that. There we go. Big 20k stack. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. We have a lot of men. Like, a lot of men. Right, let's get you fellas back over here now. And then as soon as I get back, we'll go to war with them. 
with Sparta and their cronies. Yeah, 125% research efficiency. I need to increase that. We need to get the tech to increase our maximum research efficiency, which would be nice. Uh, now, I've got a potential rebellion over in Pamphylia. I know I will deal with that. It's not going to be too tricky to deal with. It's only a tiny bit anyway, and I don't even own a lot of the land in the province. Um, so you're then going to go and disembark over here. I'll attack Sparta from both sides. A petitioner approaches so a mature individual by the name of Polemon Alwadid approached our basilisk in private this morning. Apparently, he's been scared of being burnt at the stake. In loyalty, stability, I don't need that. So we'll gain the gold. You can pay us for our protection. And this means we're going to be able to get more stuff. Um, and I'm going to want this here. I'm going to want another one down here if possible. Uh, oh, we st oh, I don't own that, of course. Uh, what about you? Yeah, there's a lot of pops here. We'll go for the Grand Temple. Again, I just need them all over the place. I really do. Uh, where have I built the Grand Temples? I know I built a few somewhere. Like here. Is this actually working now? Yeah, it is. It's working pretty well. And I don't even need to change the province policy, to be honest. It can just churn it on its own. Uh, no longer importing dates down here, so we need to import something else. We've got base medals instead. There we go. Get extra happiness of the pops. It's always quite nice. Get you fellows over here. How long have I got? 18 months until that civil war fires. So just to be sure, I'm going to lose weight. 18 gold here for 6 stability. Yes, please. And just to be sure, I'm going to go to raise the levy. Now, there's a good trick that I've learned from you guys in the, um, in the comments. So just like put the levy map mode on and then click on the area on a levy. That is fantastic, and it just saves me kind of levying everything. So I'm going to put you guys here, which means you're going to be ready to take out this when it does happen. Now, ah, what about you? Yeah, I can take this guy on. And let's slow the game speed down. Let's move you over here. You're going to go here, and I want to eat everything that Sparta has to offer here. I think there's a lot of pops in there. There's well, 41 pops in there, which means we could definitely eat them up. And I need a new naval commander. And I'll put you because you're loyal and you're the best guy possible. And we'll get these guys ready to go and ready to roll. So I think it's time to kill. So I'm not going to bring in any of my friends. I don't need to, but I will take these guys out. And I'll move you over here. I'll move you down here. Not at war. Yeah, you see, it's weird, the Hellenic League. It's like, these are all in the Hellenic League. And I think someone kind of controls the Hellenic League, but they're all independent entities. It's very odd. It's something that I've never really seen before. Like, ever. It's very, very, very weird. And I can't explain it. I really I have no idea how it actually works, to be honest. But what I gather, because, I mean, these are all in the Hellenic League, but they've not joined these guys. So it looks like this one guy that, like, kind of heads the Hellenic League, and then the others can, like, choose, like don't join. It's weird. It may be just, like, be one big defensive league. That's all it is. I mean, I can't think of anything else that it would be. But then I will take them out. And that means I need claims on the rest of these places, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to need claims on all of these. Because I need to, like, kind of mop all this up, you see. I'm going to need bits and bobs everywhere. And I'd like to eat all of this up. And so that's done pretty well. I've got an extra bit of gold, which means we could get more of these um, kind of grand temple things. I need as many of them as possible. To turn all this to Hellenic, and then of course we'll get Grand Theatres. Just so much to do. Thank God we make a lot of cash. But one thing I am noticing is that I am playing this is, this uh, campaign on normal difficulty, I think. Because it's the very first one I tried, or the very first campaign I launched when the um, 2.0 update came out. And you can tell the difference when you're playing on normal instead of playing on very hard. I mean, on the Besporing campaign, the AI is so much more aggressive on very hard. It's incredible. It's insanely aggressive. Um, and you can really tell the difference. Anyway, let's go for... I'd like something for research efficiency. So, um, let's go research. And does that give me anything? Ha, book binding. That's what's quite nice. Is there anything I can go into anywhere else? Here we go. Theological colleges. I knew there was one somewhere. So, we'll take that for the maximum research efficiency so we can go above the 125% threshold, which is always quite nice. So, we'll take that. That's cool. I've uh, got a six months we have the civil war firing over here, but I really don't care. We should be able to take it down. Um, unless there's a fort that actually gets built there. So you know what? Let's raise another levy. Just to be sure, I'm going to raise the 7,000 men here. I'll bring you down there just in case. You never know when we may need it. Anyway, 21% here. Everything's falling pretty easily. It shouldn't really be a problem. Fort's being built in Corinth. Cool. That's our lovely, unique vassal. 
Do I need more claims? I do. And I want one over on this guy. I want more claims. Well, as many claims as I can get. Um, what about over here? Do I have a claim on these guys? Here I have a claim. I think I have a claim on you. I don't have a claim on you, though. Here we go. Because there are quite a few big cities here that are going to cost a lot in war score. There may not be a like lot of land, but then the more pops that there are when you want to take land, then the bigger the war score cost. So it's basically not on size. It just depends on how many people there are in the land you want to take. All right, 35%. Nope, not yet. Well, we're going to fall, but maybe not just yet. Um, What about over here? Everything is... I think is everything Macedonian down here? Nearly. Nearly. What is it going like here? What's the integration? Of course, the simulation speed is going okay. Of course, we are pulling in. We are making more and more of them. Um, have I upped the size of my legion size yet? We have, and I'm definitely going to pull out of the hat here another supply chain when I can. Um, anyway, that's been won. That was fairly easy. Um, let's just kind of get you guys to march all the way over here now. And let me see. How much food do we eat per month? I mean, I can store 246, and I use. 10 food per month so 12 months that's 120 uh, 240 i can last two years on campaign really i don't need another supply train i can last two years on campaign it's more than enough so instead of that i'm going to get another heavy infantry unit which would always be quite nice anyway we'll just occupy all this that's done i should be able to piece out for everything now i'm fairly confident yeah i can so i can piece out for all this we'll take it so we get two aggressive expansion that's peanuts We'll take all that. And the conquest of Sparta. So the city of Sparta has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Sparta was one of the two major actors in the Peloponnesian War, as well as one of the city-states who struggled against Persian oppression. The Lacedaemonians were almost mythical for their undeniable war prowess and army strength, despite the minor population numbers. After the Macedonians came to the stage in regional politics, Sparta lost most of its importance, in huge part because of the declining population. Oh, I would like that. Extra heavy infantry discipline and a lot of gold. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's ransack the crap out of Sparta. Uh, Sparta becomes a settlement. I mean, do I have another city in this area? I don't, but I could build one. I could build one. Oh, I do. I have uh, Leprion the center and stuff, so that'll be the new location. Um, I gain light and a load of cash. So we're going to take the big lump sum of gold there. Uh, the Hellenic Elite, let's pass judgment on them. I want to bring them all in because they are Greek, so it does help us. So I'll bring them all in. Um, now that is done, I have a lot of gold, so we need to go on a big building spree here. So anywhere where we have a lot of pops, we need to go and build. Actually, go on the macro builder, I think. It's going to be easier to do it this way. Um, Grand Temple, wow, I've got so many. So many to build. Can I do it this way? Have they changed this yet? So what if I was to go back? Um, let's close the macro builder. And let's now do Grand Theatre. It's a shame that it doesn't kind of show up. I mean, I would like to be able to click the kind of religious map mode. And then have the highlighted areas like a build still. So I can see what religion's what, you see. It's a shame they don't do that. So let's go... So, I don't know, it's just really annoying. I wish I could do that with the macro builder. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have to, like, randomly guess where I'm going to have to build stuff. Um, anyway, Grand Temple, let's go. Pergamon. Here, here. Up here as well. Um, go down here. Down here. And what about over this section? Yeah, Mira down here in this place. We've got to build them. Okay, so that's a lot more done. That's cool. I like that. So we'll take that. That was worth it. Like, sacking Sparta for that. We did get a lot of gold out of it, which means more kind of grand temples. Easier con easier conversion. Better assimilation. All that sort of stuff. And now let's increase this. We'll get another unit of heavy infantry in our legion, which is always quite nice. I'll send you guys all the way back over to Ella. And now we need to gear up for the next war. And where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I probably want to make more claims. Um, and where can I make more claims? Can I make more claims on you? I can. So I make claim on this guy. Who's that again? That's Helicon Nassus, isn't it? 
Who are you allied with, Heliconassus? Not many people. I could easily eat you up. To be honest. What about... Astakos? Yeah, they're small. These guys are at war with them. Maybe... They're allied with Thrace. Okay, here's our way into Thrace here. So, I'm pretty sure I'm making a claim on these. I am. So, our next war is going to be through this. Because these are allied with Thrace. Which means I can then take out the little bits of Thrace that are left. And we can control all this side. So, that is definitely what we're going to do. So, we're going to get ready for this. So, every single damn... You're going to go here. You're going to go here as well. We'll bring them by boat because it's a lot quicker. I'm going to store them over here. And we'll have a 10k stat dealing with him there. And then we'll have our main legion on this side. And that should be fine. Uh, anyway, another Olympiad. I'm going to hold them again. We gain opinion with every single Hellenic country, which is really, really good. You guys will embark you on the boat. Time devotion, some free stab. Thank you very much, my friend. I've got another claim on Astacross, which is good. I probably want to make more, you know. I mean, we have the PI. We might as well make as many goddamn claims as we can muster. Um, let's go to Liz and Micaiah here, I think. So, Astacross, buddy. Let's see. Go make it on you there. That's for all this. Let's see how many claims I've got now. Yeah, I've got claims all over the place. But we need more. And how many more am I making? Yeah, I've got four extra claims that are being made. So as soon as they're done, we'll strike. Um, I have the Civil War farming in four months. So you're actually going to go next door here to deal with this guy. He's going to fire here. So it's, it's not going to be much of a problem. We should be able to destroy it pretty quickly. Need another great temple. Um, go for Ataria here. Of course, I just need to build as many as I can. Then I've got to build all the great theatres. Too much stuff to do. Loads of stuff to build, but... Not enough cash for the moment. So, next. Egypt, what are you doing? You're fighting anyone? You're fighting Armenia again. Egypt are just being too much of a pain. They're interfering in things that doesn't concern them. Well, did I build the Grand Theatre there by accident? And did I build that? Or was that built before I clicked on that? I don't know. I can't remember. My bad. Alright, hurry up, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I need another war. I probably won't be able to get it done in this episode. I'll probably start it in the next one. Um, Olympic Games conclude, we know. So this 10k stack is going to go and deal with this over here. There's no fort here as well, so it's going to be pretty easy to knock out. Um, there's a fort here, though, so I'm probably going to get ready to knock them out. Knock this fort out here, to be honest. Can I go across this? Why? Ah, because I lack access. Um, can I embark you onto the boat? We'll see that in a minute. Do I get a granary here or gain a lime? Yes, gain a granary. Why not? Um, so you're going over there. You need to go on the boat. And then I'm going to dock you over there. I can't actually dock you anywhere. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and I'll just disembark you that way. Um, no, no access with anybody. My land's my land. Screw you. No one's going anywhere. Right, you're going to go over here. And we'll get them all ready. And then I will strike. It's going to be very easy to take these guys out, I have to say. They're only allied with Thrace, which is actually wonderful. Um, I think I can also raise some levies. And what levies do I want to raise? Oh, I can raise the Greek levy here, which is absolutely massive. I can raise an Asian levy, which I've already raised, though. So I reckon the Greek levy is going to be the one I want to raise here. So I'll raise the Greek levy. Just because it is absolutely massive. It's an 18k stack full of Greek fanatical soldiers. And then these are going to go on the other side. And we'll take them out here. We'll take use them to take out this fort here, I think. Got another tech section. And what do I want? Now, I could go for the Bad Witchcraft. Which would be nice. But I want more gold. So, River Outpost is going to be the way forward. Uh, then I can go Temporary Office, which is nice as well. Threshold for Civil Wars goes up, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but let's go for another import route first. Let's see what I can do here. Food-wise, I am fine. Um, and I think I can go for something that I don't have here. Dates would be nice. I would love a surplus of dates because it gives you, like, national commerce and gun plus 5%. So that is definitely going to be something we're going to be thinking about doing. I mean, I make a lot from commerce. 84 of our gold is made from commerce. It's an insane amount of gold to make from commerce. And most of it is made from it. But we are in a pretty good situation here. I'm liking this. I really am. Everything is pretty, pretty stable. But again, I can tell the difference between playing on normal difficulty and very hard difficulty. It is very, very 
easy to tell the difference. I can't stress how harder it is. It really is a lot harder on very hard, especially when it comes to AI aggressiveness from what I gather. Oh, they Rome declared war and score this now. Okay, so that's the end of our client state plan there. So Rome are pushing towards us. They're going to want to fight us at some point. I know they are. Thank God I've got these guys as um, like kind of clients. That kind of blocks this side. But what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to fortify the living hell out of this place. Um, notably in Scoopoy, I think I might fortify the living crap out of this area. Uh, we're going to get ready. I'm going to fortify the hell out. Especially here because that means he can't come down this way. Um... Where do I have another fort level? I mean, he could come around here. I don't think my zone of control applies here. It doesn't. But that zone of control does. Yeah, that really doesn't apply. But this does down here. If he wants to come this way. However, if he wanted to get through this as well, he could. Yeah, I'm going to need a couple of extra cities in this area. So what we're going to do, I'm going to save my PI. And what I want is... I'm going to want one up here. I want to fortify that. So that means with Scoopoy and that, if I fortify the crap out of it, you can't come there. The next thing I'm going to want is I need a city in Lissos. Like, desperately. In Lissos. Fortify the living hell out of this passage. Um, so we need a lot of PI. And I'm going to need to get my guy... We need, we need to get some. Anything to take PI now we're going to need. And we definitely need to get the cities going. Because Rome will be having a border with us. And they are probably going to try and kill us at some point. So nice to be ready for when they do. Um, you guys have arrived yet? Have you not arrived yet? No, you haven't arrived yet, but they are arriving. I'll get them all into place. I've got the stability. Aggressive expansion is not that high, so I can easily take care of them. And we can easily go to war. you got a level 1 fort there. This is a level 1 fort. It shouldn't take long to fall, honestly. I don't think it's going to really take that long. We can easily wipe them out. And this will get the rest of the land here that we need. And what's this? Kios. It's the Kyoshin Revolt. I'll let them kind of leave their revolt and it can happen. We'll deal with them afterwards. Um, now, Thrace, how many ships you got? 13? Yeah, Thrace is a shadow of its former self. There's literally no chance that they're going to be doing anything now. Um, I don't really need you guys anymore, so I can probably disband these levies. Um, which levy is it? How can I... Can I disband levies individually? And can you disband levies individually? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Okay, I can do. I can uh, individually disband levies. Um, so, which one do I want to disband? It's Asia that one needs to go, and of course, this one here. Problem solved. There we go. So they've gone down, which is cool. Um, I'll check. Is it 140 percent now? Wow! Fucking hell, man. That is. Uh, gone up. Even with like a massive levy raised in Greece, I like it the way things are planning out. So we've got a little rebellion here in four months now. I've got to wait to well, wait four months to raise these guys again, which is a bit of a pain. I don't know why that suddenly popped up again. Lyria, Race, or Phrygia. Yeah, I'll raise you for the moment, just because you're pretty close, and it would allow me to kill them if they do end up rebelling. Anyway, these guys are in place. We're ready to go, and I'm going to end the video here, people. What we'll do in the next one, we'll take care of um, yeah, we'll take care of Eolus and Thrace. Um, I nearly have a claim on them, I think. Yeah, we're 82%. I'm very close to getting the claim. Once we do, we'll take them out. We'll take everything here, which now then would give us... Um, get rid of all the horrible border gore bits in the middle that I don't like. And then after that, we can probably focus on taking out Bithynia Superioris and Astacos and then pushing slowly towards Macedon. Oh, change of plan. Change of plan. We're going to wipe out Macedon. Yep, we're going to wipe out Macedon. Change of plan. Yeah, Egypt have stopped guaranteeing them. I want to kill them. Because if we can kill them, then I can actually go down the mission tree. And we can do this. Like, we'll cover this, probably, at some point. I can also do Throne of Alexander. So I want to take out all of this. If I can take it all out, then great. I need to make as many claims as possible on this place. Um, I don't know if I can take it all in one go. I might be able to. I'm going to give it a go. So yeah, change the plan. This is where we're going. We'll get the claim on Macadon. As soon as that's done, we'll take them out. We'll do the mission. And then I'll focus on these guys after. It will be at some point where we're going to be at loggerheads with Egypt. But I'm hoping an alliance with somebody. Maybe Rome would be nice. So before we go, let's improve their opinion a little bit more. Um, and what about Carthage? Carthage don't really like me too much. Seleucids, we could probably get something going there. Let's improve a little bit of opinion with them. You never know. 
any little help against Egypt will be fine. And with all that said and done, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And of course, if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.